It's the next morning, guys, and I cleaned up the fridge yesterday. We went to Trader Joe's and I got a bunch of stuff. And so the fridge is like nice and like fully stocked. I got these containers for the eggs and I like them so much better because they pull out. Look, they pull out. The other ones that I have really weren't practical. And so I really like it. I chopped up all of my fruits and like stuff for salad here in the back. I got some cucumbers, watermelon, broccoli, spinach. And then here I have the little containers for like toppings. So I'm gonna make some oatmeal and I wanted to put some like chocolate chips in it. And then I have some, what is this called? Some goat cheese for my salads. I got the artichoke dip and then back there like Parmesan cheese. So I organized everything. I have my little yogurts for the morning and my coffee stuff. Yeah, I'm always stocked up. These creamers in my nearby supermarket are always out of stock. So I always like when I see them in bulk. So I just stocked up yesterday. And then we have our like sandwiches stuff for my husband for work. And then the potatoes. We have the meats and sauces and yogurts and breakfast stuff down here. Lemons, some snap peas, and then my sauces. Avocado over here, and then my orange juice and my oat milk for coffee. And yeah, I'm so happy with how like organized the fridge is and like fully stocked we are because I'm trying to cut down on eating out and like being healthier. So I'm gonna be making some oatmeal for breakfast. We are starting off the vlog with some cleaning. I need to tackle my kitchen. My kitchen is a hot mess. I cooked and meal prepped for a few days. I don't wanna say the week, but like for three days. And I didn't clean up. I filmed my content for the day. And I did a little hairstyle, which I really like because it's hot and I just didn't wanna deal with my hair today. So I did a little hairstyle and yeah. So we're gonna go ahead, clean up the kitchen. I have a little project that I wanna do in the bathroom, but I need like a worker to come. I've been wanting a medicine cabinet for like ever, but the way that our bathroom is like set up, it is impossible to have one. So we have to make some changes and I'll just show you guys that once it's time to do over there. But I have a lot of cleaning to do. I have to do my kitchen, living room, bathroom and my studio so we're gonna do it together because typically when i need a little bit more cleaning motivation and i vlog i get more inspired to just like clean up and like it's more satisfying to see the before and after on camera so that always like motivates me so we're gonna be vlogging today i have been doing dishes with gloves for like the past few months at this point because i do my nails oh let me show you guys my nails these are a new set that i did from shein they're very like springy i love them so much they're so fun two dollar nails from shein guys don't spend more money because on amazon you'll get the same nails for double triple no not even double or triple you get them for like six times the price because i see the same sets on amazon for like 15 bucks 16 bucks and they're two dollars on shein same exact thing so i'm gonna link these down below if i can find them again and let's get started with the dishes because they piled up i wish i had a bigger sink but i'm glad i don't because then that just means that more dishes would be piled up in here and then look at this side over here too very very messy so let's get to cleaning <laughs> kitchen is now clean i'm actually going to be making a flan for my husband i haven't done a flan in a long time and so i wanted to surprise him for so that when he gets home from work the flan will be done or at least in the oven because it does take an hour to like bake and stuff so i'm gonna do a flan really quick i'll do a little a montage for you guys and let's make some flan <laughs>
The room is for the most part cleaned up. I just have to do a little kind of like unboxing with you guys and show you guys some new products that I picked up, but we'll do that when I come back. We're gonna go to Home Depot to pick up the medicine cabinet. So I'm gonna take you guys with us on this quick little run. I already selected the one that I wanted from online. So I'll show you guys that when we get there. <music> I saw that one online cool I want one that has like a solid door like this would be so cool I don't like that you see to me that's empty space but it's for taller products and I like how tall this is but this one's a little bit too expensive this oil I've never tried it before I got it in PR from the brand bread I reviewed their deep conditioner here on my channel for like a mass Monday video and I really really loved it one it smells really really good and it's like super lightweight and it like went right in my hair it reduced all of that frizz that I had like what I'm like freaking obsessed. Are you kidding me? Like I barely put any product in my hair, you guys. I literally use this guy because I just got it from Target a few days ago. This is the Urban Hydration Growth and Repair Honey Leave-In Spray Conditioner. This is what it looks like. I showed it to you guys earlier and I literally like just spritz the section you guys saw how I did my hair I spritz the section and I used about this much you can see it you can see right here and it wasn't all the way into the top like I feel like I didn't even use that much product and my hair looks good it looks like i used a ton of product and i ended up washing my hair because i don't like to sleep in hairstyles i was going to i was like oh i'll preserve this for tomorrow because i have a meeting like a zoom meeting and so i wanted my hair to look different but i am not one to sleep with hairstyles i need to be able to like scratch my scalp and like nothing to be tight on my hair so i i was like you know what i'll just give myself a quick little wash and add a leave-in that's why i chose something liquid because i didn't want to be drying my hair for 10 hours in a day tomorrow's gonna be another day so i'll be like filming and probably doing my hair or something doing something to my hair tomorrow but i also didn't want to sleep with wet hair because it's chilly and so i just wanted literally something quick i tell you it probably took me like 15 minutes to dry my hair which that never happens because clearly as you guys can see i have so much hair but i only used the spray leave-in which i really like i can get this look without putting any like barely putting product in my hair just this leave-in like look at the curls the shine is definitely coming from that oil which was the first time i'm using it but wow there's definition there is lots of volume obviously because i literally barely put some you guys saw how i did it i barely put anything i didn't add any cream i didn't add any gel the only um gel that i added was the eco styler gel and i literally just did it for this part of my hair my problem areas because you guys know how i feel about that but wow oh my god 
I am definitely in shock. I'm gonna put some scalp oil. I have a few. I need to see what I'm gonna grab, but just some scalp oil for my edges mainly because I keep doing like styles and I'm tugging on my edges again and I gotta chill. But yeah, I love this oil. I'll link it down below for you guys. This is definitely gonna be my favorite one. It's not sticky, it's not greasy, and it actually works because again, I had like no styling product or anything like that. So naturally, you know, it was gonna be a little bit frizzy. And so this completely tamed the frizz. I'm so tired, guys. It is midnight right now, and I need to go to sleep because tomorrow we're gonna be doing the bathroom, which I'm gonna show you guys that so you guys can see like the before and after. We got our medicine cabinet. I'm so excited to put some skincare in there so that I can actually do all of this in the bathroom. I always do that here. And then I always end up using the same products again. It's kind of like the hair situation where I always have my Nivea cream or the same toner or the same eye cream. But if I have them all laid out in the same place, right when I get out of the shower, when I'm about to brush my teeth, I can like venture out and use other stuff. So I'm gonna go make a tea right now and probably read a little bit until my eyes give out on me. So I'm gonna my little neon sign neon sign good morning guys today is the day that we get a coffee bar update <laughs> i've completely outgrown this coffee bar in the little time that i've had it um has it been a little bit of time i got it in like december so it's about six months seven months in and i got an upgrade so i am gonna use this for like storage i'm just gonna take the wheels off and probably put it upstairs or something but i'm so excited look at the coffee bar now i have two times the storage so we're gonna build this really quickly because i have a meeting look at the boys <laughs> i have Oh, Jesus. Let me, I'm trying to bring this in. Hold on. I have a meeting in two hours, so I need to hurry up and build this. Hopefully, I can build this in less than an hour. Hoping, fingers crossed, but this is the big, I hope nothing is damaged. It's actually pretty heavy. Oh, God. We're going to be building this together. Mama's got a new coffee board. I got a new coffee bar hopper. I'm so excited, guys. I'm going to have space for my original pod, which right now I have no space for it. I'm so happy. This is the new tabletop and this is the old one. So obviously like, I don't wanna say double in size, but almost like this and a half. And ah, I'm so excited. Let me build this. I'm gonna try to get some angles, but I'm really in the time crunch. So I might just show you guys the before and after. I'm gonna be watching the circle finale. And guys, look at my shirt. I'm wearing my husband's Garfield shirt. We're sharing closets now. So I get to see like all his cool t-shirts and this one was cool. Hopefully he doesn't get mad. <laughs> Ladies and gents, the coffee bar is done. I finished building it. I'm just missing um, the door stopper to this one. So it looks like this and I can't find the other one that goes here. So it's not staying closed, but it's so beautiful. I love it so much. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. And again, for comparison difference, you guys can see it right here. I don't even think I'm gonna have to move the frames or anything. I thought I was gonna have to move the frames, but here's the old one. Here's the new one see it stays open but i'm so excited i'm gonna get my tripod so i can stand you guys up that way we can organize the station together and the reason why i wanted it is because i wanted to have one of my virtual pods here and i wanted the original pods over here 
Also, I'm gonna do this montage style because we have the workers here that is gonna do the bathroom. So we're taking out the light that's here, moving this fixture over here, and the medicine cabinet is gonna go here, patch this up, put some cute little wood shelves there. So that's going on over here while I finish up the living room and the coffee bar. So I am beyond excited. I hope I can find that piece because I'm gonna need it, so. I am done with the coffee bar. I am so excited. I feel like I lucked out because I really thought I was gonna have to shift everything over. I thought I was gonna have to move this over, but it literally fit so perfectly in this corner and I didn't have to move anything. I didn't have to realign the shelves. I didn't have to move anything. This little plant situation still kind of fits really well. It was always kind of cluttered because of the my shades, but it's okay. I don't mind. It looks amazing. I'm so freaking happy with the upgrade. So the only thing I probably would change is the color of this, of the hardware. But then I also kind of like it at the same time because it matches the machines. I don't know. I'm just so freaking excited. I love that I have so much counter space. This space, everything was kind of tight. But now it's so big. And surprisingly, it makes like the living room look bigger. Like this whole corner is like so much bigger now because... The cart is a little bigger. I moved this is a little bit smaller, so I was only able to fit three coffee bags. I have to get like a summer little towel here because I still have the Christmas one, but love that. Again, counter space. I'm obsessed. I have so much counter space. Like it's crazy the amount of counter space that I have. And this is my favorite part. So we got the Virtuo on this side, which is this machine. So I can just grab the pots for that one. And now we have the original, which they're smaller pods, and I used two every time but i love variety you guys know me and i like to 
be fully stocked. So this, these pods go for this little machine. And so that is what that's looking like. I'm gonna keep the counter very bare. So when I'm doing my coffee like videos and stuff like that, I can have it here, my frother. I have a white frother, which is the one that I typically always use, but I have that in the kitchen because the milk and everything is over there. So that is the top portion. The bottom portion fit all of my cups, which I'm so happy about because I have a lot of cups as you guys can see and the storage on the other one wasn't that convenient. So here I have all of my iced coffee cups, all of the glass ones. They're so cute and fun, like the taller ones. And then here, like the little espresso ones and like the Lungo and my little espresso shots and stuff like that. So I have that there. And then I have the Greca, the frother and like a milk pour over here. All the glassware fit over here. And then on this side, is also my favorite because I was able to put all of my mugs. Look at how pretty, guys. My mugs and then my travel containers. I put them on this side and then I have the middle open. I don't know what I'm going to put there. The only bad thing is that the dog's ball keeps going under here because it's higher. But this looks amazing. All of my glassware, all of my travel cups, everything is here. And I was able to bring some from my kitchen. So I love it. I'm so, so happy. I'll be linking it down below for you guys. I hope. And then the coffee cart, I'm going to use it in another room I have to just clean it up empty it out I took the side piece out I'm gonna take the wheels off too I'm gonna take this off so it could be like a little storage unit and stuff I was thinking of doing like my nail station here we'll see I'll keep you guys posted with where I end up putting it guys the bathroom is done now <laughs> well step one is done he finished putting this on he had to move the this little wire situation over here so he had to break the wall and stuff but once that dries we will be able to just paint it i also have to paint the heater because it's a little dirty and i have to deep clean all of this because it's very dusty but guys look i have a, a mirror in my bathroom <laughs> I have a big one, a medicine cabinet. I always wanted a mirror so bad, especially like a big one because I'm tall and this is perfect. So get ready for like the get readies with me that are gonna happen here. I can get all of my products, guys. Look, fill this up with the products. My heart is literally so full. And I'm gonna go ahead and stock this up. I'm gonna prop you guys here so you could see me do this. Um, of course, I had to put some kind of greenery because I was like, I like a little green moment so I had this hanging plan I was gonna put shelves here but I didn't realize how much this came out so I'm not gonna put anything on this one I'm gonna leave it blank but I absolutely love how this turned out now you guys can see my frames in the background I'm so excited we were gonna put a light here but it's literally not even necessary we don't need it for this space as you can see there's only one light right here and the space is pretty bright and it's nice so i'm so excited so many changes happened in this vlog I was recording but then my memory got full so I had to delete some stuff but this is what it looks like it is so packed I made sure to use every inch of the medicine cabinet but just so you guys can see how much space there is in this thing I'll give you a quick little tour so you guys can see my thought process so here is like hygiene stuff so we have the floss ears cotton pads for the toners, my contacts, glasses, perfume, hair oil, my deodorant, and Listerine. Then here we have toners. This is for my contacts, but you know, size order. So we have two toners here. We have the serum. So my thought process here was kind of like do it in the order that I would apply it. So I'll wash my face except for the uh, facial cleansers up here because I only have one. And the one that I absolutely love, I don't have it anymore, so I need to repurchase it. I have toners and then after you tone, you get a serum. I love the Ordinary and I love skin SkinCeuticals. So I brought most of the, the frequently used ones over here. And then I have my lip mask, my eye cream, over here and then this is my husband's corner these are the things that he uses and then my cleanser my scrubs my facial moisturizers and then my SPF so that is how I did it even though the moisture the facial cleanser and scrubs should like be down here but 
I don't know this kind of like makes sense to me and so everything has a space and then I organized this we need to give like a fresh paint to the bathroom because since it's been used and like lived in for a while already it needs a little fresh touch up but for here I ended up taking this from the kitchen I have this in the kitchen and it just makes more sense over here so I have my pads you got the poopery over here hello this is important okay and then we have the toilet paper and I have wipes but they're like not enough to like stand up here. So I just put the little plant instead. And um, I got rid of the bar cause we never really used that. And we hung up the little hooks, which are so cute. Uh, so we just have to patch this up and I gotta find out a system of where I can get like something cute for your hand towels. I'm sure I could find it on like Etsy or something. 